Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Atlantia by Ali Condi. It is one of my favorite standalones and I really hope you like this video. I tried to make it as spoiler free as possible and there might be some questions about why I look completely different in that video, different outfit, everything like that, because I filmed it two days ago. I was just, it was really late, so I didn't feel like filming the intro. But I'm filming it now, and then I'm going to edit it and upload it. So let's just get straight on into the video. And if you like this kind of video, please leave a like or a comment, and I will be sure to do more reviews. And if you want to stick around, maybe subscribe. That would be cool. Okay, let's go into the video. We're going to start with the title. The significance of this title is, um, it's the name of the city where the main character lives in the below, which is under the water. It's this underwater city that's in a dome. So they're humans and they're breathing and walking, but it's underwater and it's called the below. And then here would be the above and they named the below the civilians there Atlantia. So that's the significance of the title. The synopsis, pretty much read from the back of the book, is the main character and also the narrator, Rio, dreamed of living above, beyond her life in the underwater city of Atlantia. All her hopes are shattered when her twin sister, Bay, makes an unexpected choice stranding Rio below. She formulates a plan that leads to increasing treacherous questions about her mother's death, about her destiny, and the corrupted system constructed to govern the divide between land and sea. Her life and her city depend on her to listen to the voices of the past and speak long-hidden truths. So that's pretty much exactly what the back of the book says. I don't want to tell you too much because it's basically her journey of self-discovery, and I don't want to say too much about it because I feel like it's one of those books you have to just experience for yourself. My opinion on it is I love this book. It is probably my favorite standalone. I love it. It's really moving. I cry every time I read it and I've read it about four times now. Um, last time I read it was in grade eight and I did it for a novel study. We got to do a personal novel study. So I read this then. So I had to do a bit of research and skim a little bit to do this but I really wanted to have this as my first book review because it means so much to me and um, I read it at a time where I really needed to read it and I still need to read it because like I said it's a, her journey of self-discovery and we're all still discovering ourselves so okay so a few of the main characters without spoiling anything this is literally part of this synopsis um, Rio Conwy, she's the main character and the narrator, and so we see everything from her point of view. And she's adventurous, and she's a siren. That does not mean a mermaid. Some people get disappointed in this book because they think it's about mermaids. It's not. Not at all. The siren is used in a different way. I don't want to tell you how the siren works because it's part of the history that's so cool about this book. So I think you need to read it for yourself. Um... Anyway, so she's 16 and she's tough and she's pretty secretive because she's had to keep being a siren a secret and you'll find out why if you read the book. And then Bay Conwy is her twin sister and she's known as being generous and kind. And then the other character that I can really tell you about without spoiling too much is Oceana or Oceana, I don't know how to say it, which is their mother. Um, she was a minister in the below and you'll find out what that is in the book. I don't want to say too much, but it has to do with their religion and stuff. And um, she mysteriously died a year before this book happens. So it's also kind of Rio finding out what happened to her mother. So that's a lot. There's a lot of other characters, but I don't want to spoil because you don't actually know about them from when you pick about pick up the book until like a certain way through they're introduced. Um, so the themes of the book. Um, sisterhood is very big. There's two sets of significant sisters. Um, Rio and her sister and then her mom also had a sister. And they all had close relations but they caused a great deal of sorrow and grief to each other 
despite or perhaps because of their closeness, they can hurt each other more than anyone possibly could. It's also about freedom of choice. There's a very big choice in this book that all the, I guess, citizens of the city have to make at a certain point in their lives. I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but freedom of choice and having choices because living under water in that dome city, they didn't have a lot of options. Um, you'll find out more what I mean if you read it. Um, it also explores um, the theme of good and bad. Rio thinks everyone initially is, they're either born good or bad kind of thing. And throughout the book, she discovers there's actually gray area and it's not personality that makes people bad, it's their actions and the things they say and do basically. And it's also about governmental power and abuse of that power because there's some of that in the book. And it's about having a voice and she finds her voice in this. Literally and figuratively, I don't wanna to say too much about it because it's spoiler-ish. Um, love, there is a bit of romance in it. It's not super central, but it is in there and all different kinds of love. There's like romantic love, sisterly love, of course, um, just family love, friend love love for your city kind of thing and it's all about helping the it's not all about but it has helping the environment in it because the reason they live in underwater is because the air got so polluted up here that um they had to send half of the population or something like that um to live under the sea um so some of the human race can survive because the conditions were so terrible here so the genre is fantasy and sci-fi and dystopia but it's like light fantasy because there's not like a whole bunch of magic but there is a little bit and sci-fi because it's dystopia futuristic world kind of thing uh so and the cover there's two covers i'm pretty sure one of them has two girls on the front cover that i think is supposed to represent rio and her sister um i have this one i think this is the older copy i think um this has like a shell and shells are used a lot in this book in ways to help rio discover i don't want to say too much about it because it's it has a lot of spoilers it's a very central thing in this book the seashells and i love this cover personally more than the faces because it's just it's simple but it's so beautiful and mysterious and i want to find out more. And there's a poem here from a longer poem. It's just a short excerpt. It's a really long poem. I don't remember what it's called, but um, it relates back to the last paragraph or so of the book before the epilogue. And it like connects nicely. I don't want to say how, because that's extremely spoilerish, but I will read the poem. It says, human voices wake us and we drown. So it's a lot of like, what does that mean? Um, it's actually part of a romance poem, I think. It's a super long poem. If you Google this part of it, you can find the whole poem. The setting. The setting is pretty clear. She describes her city around her pretty well, and she talks about Atlantia breathing a lot because they have to pump oxygen in, obviously. And when I read it, I definitely feel like I'm there, and I hear the sounds that she describes and the smells and the looks. It's it's not super central because this is a very character driven book, but it is very important because um, Atlantia is kind of where she's trying to escape from or just not be there anymore because she wants to adventure. She loves adventure. She wants to adventure in the above. So she's trying to get away from the below. So now for the plot and the pacing. Oh, I should say um, I tried my very best to make sure there's no spoilers in this review so you can watch the entire thing. So there's not gonna be any spoilers. Um, so just thought I should tell you. Anyway, so um, it's a bit slow because it's like a journey of self-discovery, right? But it makes sense with the story and it's not too slow. It just kind of moves along nice and steady. Um, 
it's a very conclusive ending. No loose ends. Everything's wrapped up nicely like a present. And um, whether it was predictable or not, I was quite surprised at some parts of the book because um, the first time I read it, I was at that age where I thought every single book had a happy ending and I didn't realize there was like many forms of that because a happy ending isn't always what you think it would be like Cinderella meets her prince kind of thing. But um, the ending, it, part of it I predicted because it was part of that happy ending. But how it was executed was very different and it was definitely surprising. And for the engagement of it, I could not put it down. And I've read it four times. And I don't usually read a book that many times unless it's like Little Woman, which is another one of my absolute favorites. But I've read this book so many times and the first time I read it, for sure, I could not put it down. I swear, I read f until like four in the morning and at that point, I could barely keep my eyes open. So, yeah, it's, like I said before, it's character-driven, but the strong, with a strong plot. It's very clear what she wants and what she's aiming for. So, it's character-driven because it's all about her and her relationships with people and how she's navigating herself and finding herself. But it is, it has a good plot. It's not just... A person living out their life kind of thing and the ending is pretty happy it's almost bittersweet I don't want to say too much about it because that would spoil the entire thing um, like endings usually are but it is definitely bittersweet I cried <laughs> every time I read it um, I think I was in class one of the times so it was very awkward um, yeah anyway um, about the writing of this book I love Ali Condi's writing she's definitely one of my favorite authors and it flows so nicely. You definitely feel like you are seeing it from Rio's point of view. This girl who's had to be secretive and talk in a monotone voice. And you'll see why. I'm not going to say anything. Um, all her life, pretty much. And how she's discovering herself and everything. It's, it's beautiful writing. You can tell she's obviously very skilled, Ali Condi, at writing. Paragraph and chapter length is good. It's... Not a super heavy read, it's a it's literally including the epilogue 298 pages. So it's a pretty good length. It's not too long. Um, but it's a very nice length and it's a very it's very well written. It's beautiful to read. And the enjoyability of it, I love it. I love the themes. I love pretty much everything about this book. It is amazing. It is I cried at so many parts, like probably if I went through this, I would find tear stains in the pages. And this is one of my few books with a super cracked and worn spine, because that's how many times I've, I've read it. Usually if I've only read a book once, the spine isn't cracked, because I take immense care of my books. But this, it's so beautiful. It's really amazing. So do I recommend this book? 100%. It is not for everyone though. I understand that I have read actually quite a lot of negative reviews about it, but um, if you care about the environment and seeing like dystopia kind of things where the environment is the cause of that and not like government or anything like the Hunger Games, it's definitely a good book to read. It's dystopia, light sci-fi, fantasy, like I said. Um, the age group is 12 and up, I'm pretty sure, but... Um, I don't know if there's any trigger warnings. I couldn't find any and I couldn't think of any. But um, I definitely wouldn't recommend reading it if you're younger than 12. Because it does have some strong themes. I don't think it's any like trigger warning kind of themes. But very controlling government, that kind of thing. Um, there is death in it. So it's definitely not for everyone. But it's an excellent book. Um, so now I'm going to rate it. I have a star rating system that I'm going to use with all of my book ratings. I'm going to do a slightly different one for movie ratings, but, um, essentially, let me just pull up the picture. Um, there's five categories and each one is given out of five stars. Um, and then I'll average it for a total. The five things five categories and the things I look for 
setting and theme. Is it easy to imagine and immerse into? What's the quality of it? And is it a good theme? Uh, the characters and the narrator point of view, is it well-developed characters? Is the narration point of view confusing? Is there diversity? And then there's plot and pacing, is it a nice pace? Is the ending satisfying? Is the content good? Like, is it a page turner? Writing, does it flow? Is she skilled, basically? Um, I know a lot of people don't really care what the writing is like, as it's more about the content for them, but I find it really hard to read a book if the writing isn't in a style I like, or it's just hard to read, or it's just not very good, even if the idea is amazing. So that's my personal opinion. Um, and enjoyability is basically how much I liked it. So I ranked it. For the setting and the theme, it was very well done. I definitely pictured it but I just wanted a bit more because I couldn't fully picture everything. I mean, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to make fill in the blanks, but there were some things I definitely needed more, more, you know? Um, so I gave that 3.5 out of five. Characters and narrative point of view, very well-developed characters. All of them have distinct personality traits. I don't think there's any Mary Sue's and it definitely passes the Bechdel test, which is great. Um, I wish Bay was done a little bit more because she's mostly just known for being generous and kind. And I just wanted to know a little bit more about her. I actually, <laughs> the first time I read it, I wanted a sequel that's more like from Bay's point of view because I liked Bay. I don't know why. Um, overall, amazing. Narration was easy to follow. You could definitely see... Um, what Rio was feeling and everything like that. Um, diversity, I'm pretty sure there was quite a bit of diversity. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I gave that a 4.5 out of 5. The plot and pacing, like I said, it moves at a nice steady pace. Um, for the kind of book it is, it's not super action-packed because it's not an action kind of thing, but it's good, and she's not a fighter. So I think there is fighting in it but there's it's not her that's doing it I don't think so anyway the ending was satisfying albeit bittersweet and it was definitely a page turner so five out of five for that section the writing I love Ali Condi she's so skilled it flows so nicely and she has obvious skill and it's a very suitable style five out of five enjoyability I love this book I can't get enough of this book. I'm always thinking of this book. I'm literally trying to get my mom to read it right now. I try to get my friends to read it. I love this book. Five out of five. So I totaled it and it's a total of 4.6 out of five. So we round that to 4.5 out of five. So it is definitely an excellent book. And that's it. So Thanks for watching. I really hope you pick up this book. I'll leave a link to it in the description box um, for Amazon and Indigo because those are the places I know carry it and those are the ones I usually use to buy books. Um, okay guys, that's my review of Atlantia by Ali Condi. I'll leave links in the description box for my Instagram and where to buy this book. And if you have read this book and you want to talk about it with me, because I still have a lot of feel about it and I can't talk about it with many people, please DM me and we can talk about it because it's just amazing. And today when I was like skimming over it, I discovered something new about it and I'm just... The feels. Okay. So thank you. Bye.